Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with a binomial distribution in R, specifically I'm using R Studio. Um, now, uh, to work with binomial distribution you usually have a number of successes, I'm going to use three as an example. A number of trials, uh, or the sample size, uh, I'm going to be using eight as an example, and a probability of success for each trial, I'm going to use 0 0.3. So, these three, control enter are now loaded, as you can also see up here. Um, the probability mass function can um, immediately be calculated using uh, R's dbinom function. It requires the k, the sample size, and the probability. And if we run this, we get the probability of having k or less, uh, sorry, k out of uh, n um, successes if indeed on each trial the probability is p. So in this case that's about 0 0.25, so 25%. If you want the cumulative version, the cumulative density function, you can use p binom, uh, same input parameters, and in this case we get about 0 0.81, so 81%. So that means 81, uh, that's the chance of having k or less out of n successes if the probability on each trial is p. Now there's also, I think they sometimes refer to it as the uh, survival function, which is the opposite of the uh, cumulative one. So basically 1 minus the cumulative one should give you the same. So uh, what you can do is lower tail equals false, and that should give you the other side, so that should be 19%. And indeed there it is. So that's uh, the probability of having actually k plus 1 or more, so uh, more than k uh, successes out of n with a probability of success on each trial being 0 0.3. Um, if you want to visualize your distribution you could do that, uh, you're setting the, the probability values uh, then loop over uh, 0 because you can also have 0 uh, successes uh, up till your sample size because that's the maximum then you just add each of them one by one. Uh, you might want to show the names of the uh, of each category, and then you can use bar plot to actually show it. So if I run this, it should give me a basic bar chart of uh, the probabilities, and this is my binomial distribution with uh, sample size eight, and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, in the appendix I'll show actually how R is implementing the whole algorithm. They use a loader's algorithm, um, which works uh, by setting some uh, values. Then you need a SFE um, uh, values as well, which are uh, the logarithm, the natural logarithm. Uh, default of R log is the natural um, of the factorial of um, 1 to 15 in this case. Uh, then e to the power of that, um, and then uh, that i to the power of i um, times the square root of 2 times pi times i. Ooh, that's a lot. So after that has been calculated, you can create a f uh, function, which they call Stirler, um, and it's a function based on the sample size. If it's less than 16, it simply returns the value just calculated here, and otherwise it uses the other values. So we can use that. Uh, I don't actually have to test this anymore. And then they have a BD0 function, which does all this. Uh, I'm not going to explain all of it. Um, there's a link on my website where you can see the flowchart of this algorithm. but in the end, uh, it should then give the same result as we saw earlier, and there it is. Alright, well, I uh, hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.